coordinate bonding coordinate bonding is defined as the sharing of a pair of electrons between two atoms where both the electrons in the bond come from the same atom it is also called dative covalent bond now the conditions for dative covalent bond to take place are the following number 1 one of the atoms should have a lone pair i'm sure you all remember what a lone pair is a lone pair of electron is an unbonded pair which does not involve itself itself in bonding so we call it as a lone pair the second condition the second atom should be electron deficient what is the meaning of electron deficient an atom or a molecule that has less than its usual share of electrons let us understand coordinate bonding or dative covalent bonding with the help of an example and the example the uh, the polyatomic ion that we are using is ammonium ion so in ammonium uh, ammonium ion we have ammonia and the other uh, ion is hydrogen ion so in ammonia the nitrogen atom has formed three covalent bond two hydrogen atom this means that nitrogen atom also has a lone pair of electron nitrogen can use its lone pair of electron to form a covalent bond let us see by drawing it so this is the nitrogen atom we can make uh, then we have three hydrogen 1 2 and three hydrogen and each hydrogen has each hydrogen has one electron so let's put that electron there one each one has one electron and then we have one nitrogen and nitrogen has one two three four and five electron so this is the structure of ammonia now ammonia will combine with let's make uh, that is the hydronium ion this is ox hydrogen in the center and then we can make right hydrogen there and it has a positive charge so here the hydrogen ion does not have any electron so this is a reaction between ammonia and hydrogen ion the hydrogen ion has no electron it's elect uh, it is electron deficient so here we are actually fulfilling the two condition one is one of the atom should have a lone pair so who has a lone pair here we see nitrogen in ammonia has a lone pair whereas we see hydrogen the second condition is the second atom should be electron deficient so we see Uh, the hydrogen ion is electron deficient so now let's see how they combine together so let's draw that and see how they combine together so this we enclose it in a square bracket and then we can draw the nitrogen here and then we can draw the hydrogen 1 2 3 hydrogen and let's show the electrons so this is the hydrogen with the electrons and then we have the nitrogen in the center with its electron and then we have we can show another hydrogen which is coming from the hyd uh, the hydrogen ion and we have two electrons from uh, that is two electrons from nitrogen so this is again another hydrogen over there so and we see that it has a positive charge over there so this is showing the structure of the hydronium ion uh, sorry the ammonium ion 
and then we can finally draw the clear structure of that i hope you understand the structure more clearly so let's enclose it in a square bracket and then we have nitrogen in the center and we have one hydrogen here one hydrogen here one hydrogen at the bottom and here we have the coordinate of the dative bond and that we show with the help of an arrow the arrow is pointing away from the lone pair and then we can put the hydrogen over there so whenever we are showing a coordinate or a dative bond we will show with the help of an arrow and the arrow will be away from the lone pair so this is finally the ammonium ion which is formed by coordinate bonding or dative covalent bonding now we will see another example understand coordinate bonding or dative bond with another example now the example is ammonia boron trifluoride so let us draw first the structure of ammonia and then we'll draw the structure of boron trifluoride and see how coordinate bonding takes place but remember coordinate bonding two conditions should be there one of the atom should have a lone pair and the second atom should be electron deficient so one is an electron donor other one is electron acceptor and also what is coordinate bonding is defined as the sharing of a pair of electrons between two atoms where both the electrons in the bond come from the same atom so let's understand that so structure of ammonia first we have already done it but let's do it again nitrogen let's take nitrogen and then nitrogen has five electrons so let's draw nitrogen electron one two three and four and five and then it has three hydrogen it forms covalent bond with hydrogen so hydrogen has one electron another hydrogen and another hydrogen so it forms uh, covalent bond with three hydrogen atom and then it has one pair of lone pair so these two ele electrons is the lone pair plus now the next is boron trifluoride so let's put boron here remember boron atomic number is five so it has two and three three electrons in the outermost shell so let's put three electrons one two three and trifluoride that means three fluorine so one fluorine another fluorine another fluorine and fluorine has nine atomic number and seven electrons in the outermost shell so let's draw the seven electrons of each fluorine one two three four five six and seven over here again on the fluorine one two three four five six and seven over there and one two three four five six and seven over there so now we see that boron has one two three four five six six uh, electrons only and to satisfy itself it should have eight electrons so now here we see there are two lone pair in ammonia so ammonia will give its two lone pair to boron and then we will have the structure like this after the coordinate bonding nitrogen here we already did it so let's do it a little fast with hydrogen hydrogen here and then we have cross and hydrogen here and then we have the two lone pairs and then we have boron boron is and fluorine let's make the fluorine and fluorine has one two three four five six and we have already put one electron for it one two three four five six and one electron is already put over there with boron and then finally one two three four five six and one electron already 
So each fluorine has eight electron. Now boron has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that shows the coordinate bond. And uh, what we can do is finally uh, we, we, we could have shown the two lone pairs by the coordinate bond by uh, showing the two arrows. So we could have done it to one arrow. We could have uh, just rubbed this and we could have made an arrow showing the uh, lone pair going to boron. So it could have been done like that also. So finally, we would have the structure of NH3. That is NH3 and BF3. That is ammonia boron trifluoride. I hope students you have understood this. Thank you students. If you like the lesson, please share and subscribe.